And welcome to Overtime, brought to you by Kingscast at www.kingscast.net. I'm Keith Kornelik. And I'm Chris Kalisius. And we are back. The puck has dropped at Staples Center. King's home hockey has begun. It is episode 74, entitled The Return to Staples Center. That's right, Keith. Uh, the season has begun in Los Angeles. Very exciting. Uh, obviously, two games in the can already for the Kings, and one and one. And not bad for a back and back in Canada. First of all, opening against Vancouver Canucks, those retro jerseys, huge win, looked yeah, awesome. They're awesome. Um, and we scored one goal on the power play by Justin Williams, who looks invigorated, knows he's in a contract here. I loved it. And then going into Calgary, which we haven't won in like 46 years or something like that. <laughs> Somebody look it up and tell me. But. We scored one goal on the five-on-five five by Dustin Brown, and in two games there, we have one goal on five-on-five. On five. Yeah, definitely the concern, and definitely coming into the home opener. I mean, I think, I don't remember the last time we won a home opener. I know we lost last year badly to Phoenix. Not sure if we won the year Phoenix before. Years, but it's been a while. So, but you're always sort of hesitant because expectations, obviously, this year are, are skyrocketing. And you want to come home and you start the season off right and win a game. And tonight definitely did not start off like that. I think the biggest concern that there was concern, obviously, in the first two games was the 5 5 scoring. What's up, Kings fans? We are back. At Staples Center, Atlanta Thrashers are in town, and I don't remember the last time we've won a home opener, but it is the Thrashers. No Ilya Kovalchuk. I'm saying Kings are going to win this three nothing. Book it. It's very obvious why we went after Ilya Kovalchuk. <laughs> we need a sniper. We need someone who's going to score. Anze Kopitar can't do it all by himself, and we have a lot of tough guys. A lot of guys will push you around, but do we have a lot of guys who can score the goal when it really matters? I mean, I don't know. I think that's the question. It's another score goal by committee kind of team, and that's not a team that's going to win a Stanley Cup. Hey, Kings fans, first period is over, and seen a lot of what we've seen in the first two games, and a lot of penalties and a lot of missed opportunities, so hope we can turn it around. This is the period we score. Two nothing Kings after this period. Andre Lakdianov, the rookie, was put on the top line with Kopitar and Brown, which was great, but it, it, it still reminds me of a Teddy Purcell situation yep. where you have the top line set, uh, or you have one line set, and then you have two-thirds of the second line or first line set, and it, it's very difficult. Lakdianov is a rookie. I don't believe he can do it all by himself. Um, who goes there? Well, that's a good question. I mean, I think that uh, we see what the big issue is right now, and that's uh, the line combinations for the top two lines. I don't think it's set yet. I think we're still going to see a lot of shuffling going on here. Uh, we talked about it at the game. I still think that Dustin Brown does belong on that second line. I'd yeah. like to see Justin Williams back, uh, especially the way he started off the season so far. I'd like to see him back on that first line. All right, guys, end of the second, and we go back to who's going to score. The Thrashers, we're up one nothing. Kings cannot finish whatsoever. However, a very special hello to the Armenians on Armenian Heritage Night at Staples Center. We are obviously ahead of schedule in the rebuild. I think last year Dean Lombardi was a little hesitant to see what was going on to make a trade. I think now, you know, if Scott Pars doesn't come back and, you know, he's skating and then he's not skating, uh, we're going to have to make some sort of move, and teams are getting anxious. All right, so wow, what a great third period. Kings scored three goals, win 3-1. even had a couple of five-on-five scores, so got to love it. Move on uh, to Vancouver on Friday, so great game. Go Kings. And now, a Kings Cast News Brief. The Anaheim Ducks have started their new season winless with a record of 0-3-0. They've been outscored 2-13 in that span. The train wreck has begun. And Ilya Kovalchuk of the New Jersey Devils has started the year with zero goals, two assists, a minus three rating, and a draw in a girl fight with Caps D-man Mike Green. He's also crippled the roster with his bloated salary and overall been a distraction. So Keith, the season is young. The Kings are the youngest team in the National Hockey League, and the Kings currently have six rookies on the team, which is it's a little... A lot of rookies for a team that made the playoffs. Uh, we have Braden Shen, Andre Latianov, Jake Muzzin, Trevor Lewis. Who are the other ones? Kevin Westgarth. Kevin Westgarth and Kyle Clifford. Yep. Um, 
That's a lot of young kids. So our question of the day is which rookie would you like to see make the team? Leave your comments and suggestions downstairs. All right, Kings fans, we will be right back at you next week to cover the Kings road trip. Uh, I want to send a special shout-out to the people that we met at Frozen Fury, awesome people, and at the games. Thank you very much. I'm Keith Kornelik. And I'm Chris Kelsey. And thank you for watching Overtime. Bye, Kingscast.